Yeah, thank you for asking that. It's so important. And I get this question a lot from women reaching out to me on Instagram and stuff. And I love to hear that they want to know how to do it right. And, and it is important. And the best way to start is to create like a really safe container outside of the bedroom to just open up this topic of communication. You know, it all starts with communication. And if you, let's just say your partner has been experiencing erectile dysfunction, you know, multiple times in a row and, and they're starting to avoid intimacy and, you know, th then you take that, that conversation out of the bedroom mm -hmm. in, in a day where you're having a beautiful day and you're both, you know, really happy and, and the, and turn it into this light topic of like, I love making love with you. And, you know, I love another thing that's really important that I want female listeners to hear is acknowledging being able to understand that men put so much value around their penises and their size and everything because of performance and, and all of the things. Mm. So to be able to acknowledge that I, I love the way you make love to me. I love your penis. I love everything about our, you know, sex. And I can see that something's a little bit off lately. Is there anything I can do to support you with this, you know? And this can be a really sensitive topic for some men. And, you know, the ego can come in and they get really defensive or, nervous and, and angry and the best thing would be to just come at it with a really first supportive approach but a really light approach that like hey this is not a big deal to me at all I've been you know I, I've experienced this before I've worked through this before yeah. and it it happens to all guys you know and just make it this normal thing because men with performance anxiety usually think that they're the only ones, you yeah. know, well, I'm broken. I'm, I'm bad at this and she's just going to find someone else. Yeah. So to be able to come with that approach of like, Hey, this is totally fine and normal, but you know, I would love to work through this with you. Is there anything I can do? How can we, you know, do this together? And, and another approach that I think is really important too is sharing from your own experience of performance anxiety. Mm. Hey, I just want to share. I get really insecure sometimes about my boobs or something, you know, and just share that it can be confronting and, and that you would like to be supported in, a, in another way. Just so it's this like really safe container where you're both contributing. It's not just about like, oh, he needs to fix something. Yeah putting, projecting the blame, coming to a place where you're listening and then holding.